Sagittarius, welcome to Lily Light Tarot. We are going to go ahead and take a look at your current situation and how it could affect your upcoming or unforeseen events. We are going to expand on life, love, career, money, abundance, anything that uh, needs to be revealed at this particular time. So let us go ahead and expand for you, Sagittarius, with your first message popping out interesting how we are looking at the double sixes um and i have the threes the three equals six okay we have temperance six of cups six of pentacles and three of cups mm. now this is very interesting i'm going to definitely pull some clarifiers but what i'm seeing here is that some of you are waiting you are waiting to hear back from um, someone that you care dearly about and I do see that they're going to be reaching out, okay? There is this energy in your outcome, in your future outcome, the Six of Pentacles. Some, like what you've put out, you're going to receive. So if you've tried to reach out, if you've tried to communicate, you are getting that back. Uh, the Temperance with the Six of Cups, though, it's showing here, it doesn't necessarily have to be some of you are waiting to hear back from someone. It could be that you are hoping to reap the rewards that you've put out. Okay, so if you put out some type of result through your efforts, through your passion, you are going to be getting attention. You are going to get traffic. Like you are going to be, uh, you know, seeing traffic in your business, traffic flow, business, um, you know, success coming in here. Let's take a look at your clarifiers. Hmm. Let me see, for Sagittarius, as we clarify on your first message, because we are going to be pulling a few here for you. For Sagittarius, opening up here. Oh, okay, so let me, oh, that one just slid right over there, okay. Look at that, will you look at that double three of, because we have the doubles, three of cups. So many sixes coming in here showing change and transition but also the six represents a karmic energy or a karmic cycle okay let's go ahead and break this down here three of cups happiness okay some of you are waiting for something that is going to make you really happy again i do see that you are hoping to hear back from someone regarding a situation that you are wanting results in you're hoping to hear back from someone regarding their answer you're hoping to hear back from something that could result you in um in like a partnership in a unionship now what's interesting here with the two of swords uh the the devil came out pairing with it um sagittarius this energy it's almost asking, is it what you really want? Like <laughs> what you are waiting for, you're going to hear back from it. Okay. Like you are going to hear a follow-up, but are you going to proceed with the offer that is being presented to you? Okay. Um, because the judgment card, isn't it interesting how we have the judgment and the devil energy coming out? And we have the double sixes and the double threes coming in here. Okay, this is pretty deep. Let me break this down so you can understand it in an easier way. Some of you are going to hear some type of confirmation that will confirm where you need to go or there's putting closure into something because it's like you're waiting for some type of news or confirmation to validate the direction that you're trying to proceed with, okay? It's like, okay, now they called me back. Okay, now I know if I want this or if I don't want this. It's like, it's putting some type of peace or closure. Um, there's, a, there's like this energy of like peace of mind. However, what's interesting is with the devil energy and the two of swords, it's saying like a part of you, a, a part of you knows that what you ultimately desire may not be the best for you <laughs> at this time, okay? Because the judgment is coming in here, showing like some type of truth. And it's saying like, okay, Sagittarius, some of you, like you deserve better. You deserve more. Um, 
you deserve to be connected with what is going to be for your highest good, but your judgment is clouded or you're being like stubborn or you're, you're fixing your thoughts to be boxed in to what you want it to appear like. Okay. And I'll give you an example. So it's kind of painting the picture for some of you Sagittarius. Okay. If some of you are hoping to hear news from someone, Okay, maybe it's like your ex or maybe you're waiting for a job to call you back. Maybe you're waiting for like the right opportunity or the right house to pop up, something like that. And we see that there is communication coming in, okay? It's pairing here with you. It's going to give you what you want to hear. And that's what the devil energy is showing here too. The devil represents the energy that shows and represents itself in a way that is very comfortable to you. Like it'll tell you, it'll sweet talk you to death. It will show you what you want to see. It will sound like how you want to hear it. Okay. It will show up in a way where you feel like, Oh, this is, this is it, but it's deceiving. Our habits tend to be that way too. Like when we procrastinate, it's because it just feels comfortable just prolonging the situation or when we are addicted to some form of situation or, um, thing in our life. We know it we probably shouldn't be doing this, but it kind of feeds our flesh, right? It's something to that effect here, Sagittarius, but it's like, okay, you're going to get what you are waiting for. But when it comes, are you going to decide to proceed with it? Okay. Does it equal out to making it worth it in the end? Because the three of cups, it is showing that some of you are going to hear the news that you want, or you're going to hear back from something that you want. But it's interesting that the six of swords comes up here because it's moving towards the um, space of the six of pentacles and the judgment, which is showing that it's putting you mentally at ease. Um, it's like, okay, they called me back. I know that I'm, I'm worthy or I'm worth it. The job called me back. They got my resume, right? It's like, okay, my ex called me back. They miss me or yeah, something's on the market. My agent called me, but that doesn't mean you have to go back with them. Doesn't mean you have to accept the job. Doesn't mean you have to buy that particular house. So the six of pentacles with a judgment is saying like, trust your intuition, look for the signs. Okay. And make sure that what you are asking to receive is something that's going to be of equal value or it's going to be worth it. Because our mind is very powerful, okay? It can show us and appear in a way that seems appealing to us. If you think about like sales people, okay? The sales agent, they will tell you whatever you want to, to hear to, to get you in that new car, to get you in that new house. The recruiter will tell you what, whatever to get you to join the military, to, um, you know, to sign the offer letter. They will tell you what you want to hear. The job will look appealing in your mind's eye. Okay. You will be happy at that moment, but in the long run, okay. Are you really going to be happy? You need to wake up. Some of you need to, um, maybe do some research as we look at the six of, uh, swords. And then the temperance is also showing wait a little bit longer. If you wait a little bit longer, the right thing will come. You don't have to jump to something right away. So that's a very interesting reading coming in here. Let me just close this so it's not confusing for you. Okay, next message, Sagittarius. I know that was a long one, but some of you really need to hear it. Next message coming in, we are looking at Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. Speaking of the truth, the truth is setting you free. Here, the seven of swords there, you're walking away from something that tried to be guarded, like kept away from you, but you are discovering it. Sagittarius, we see like you discovering the truth, the way, the light. Okay. You're, you're finding like your, your voice, your North star. Some of you are running away with someone particularly like running off, um, secretly getting married. Uh, some of you may be running off going on a vacation or a trip and you're not telling anyone about it. Um, the Knight of wands. I also see that you may be looking for other opportunities for uh, financial gain. 
you're maybe not telling your boss that you're looking for another job. Maybe you're not telling your co coworkers that you're quitting in two weeks. There's some energy of, um, I don't want to say it's secrecy. It's just like you, you just don't feel like you need to share that information of your exit. So there's, there's this idea of you plotting and planning, uh, this new role that you are moving into and where you are going here, it's going to ultimately put you in a better position where you're going to be more successful or you're going to gain more. You're going to see that there's more value. It's going to be easier on your life. Um, and some of you, it's going to be an opportunity that you can't pass up. It's too big. Okay. It's too big for you to say no. <laughs> it's too good for you to turn down. As we look at the Ace of Pentacles, I wouldn't doubt, again, when we look at proposals, someone may be extending something here to you where uh, you have a position to change in your role, in your role in life. Maybe your status is going to be changing. I feel like to a lot of you, Sagittarius, you're like kind of down to get like a secret <laughs> marriage, like you're eloping or something. Um... Or you're like working on this, like a, a second job on the side to make more income. It's like you're playing, you have like multiple hats here. Or you're, you're coming across like, there's like two parts of you. Interesting. The double knights facing each other. I'm seeing the double pentacle energy, the tower. Yeah, see, the tower energy, Sagittarius, you are... As we look at the truth setting you free, the tower, it's like you are being shaken out of this situation. Now, at first glance, okay, whatever you are going to be going through, or maybe you are currently going through it right now, you may see it as mm, hurtful, okay? You may come as, it may be a surprise, but the tower is showing that, hey, there's another way. There's another way. There's another way out. There's another path to consider. There's another event where you need to meet other people, right? So like the doors are opening, but it's you... It's like the universe, like opening the door for you. Some of you, it's some type of truth that's going to, I don't want to say shatter your world, but it's going to open up your eyes and you're like, oh my gosh, okay. I need to face the reality of the fact that where I'm at is not stable. It's not sturdy. The tower is not a forever foundation for you, Sagittarius. And that's where we see the seven of swords. It's like you are, you're leaving before the tower falls on you. Some of you can already see the signs, the writings on the wall. You're seeing the cracks coming through and you're like, okay, I'm out. Like I'm going to leave because I could already feel that they are trying to eliminate me or I can already feel like this is falling apart. So here that seven of swords, you're taking that truth and you are already forming your exit. Now, as we look at the Knight of cups, okay, for some of you, you are leaving and putting yourself into a new happier position possibly with someone. Someone could be the inspiration that you are moving on because we have the Knight of Cups. They are giving you some type of proposal like, hey, come with me. Okay. Like, hey, run away with me. Hey, this is, I have a new job for you. Hey, I love you. Right. It's like there is someone here that some of you may be encountering where they motivate you to be out of the tower. Okay. You're like, okay, I want to, uh, yeah, it's probably time for me to leave the tower. Um, for others, the Knight of Cups, it represents your passion. Your passion is your fuel that is pushing you out. You feel stuck here and you are pursuing your passion. Okay. You're realizing that where you're at, you, you're stuck. There's kind of like a, a cap and you're like, oh, this is, there has to be more than these four of pentacles. I can't keep myself boxed up, reserved, closed off, limited. Okay, you realize that you are more than the four of pentacles. You have the capability to access the nine of pentacles, to possess and make the nine of pentacles, to experience nine of pentacles. Why settle for just four? Okay, so here you're seeing, okay, there's more to life than these four of pentacles. Now, what's interesting, we look at the five of wands as it um, extends on the ace of pentacles. So it's going to show that it may... Um, I don't want to say it's going to be hard, Sagittarius, but it's going to require a lot of work on your end, okay? Where you're going, it's going to require a lot of creative ideas or potential. It could require you to work with other people to bring your vision uh, or your plans together. Um, the Five of Wands, you could also be seeing that you're working or juggling, again, like two projects at once to get the ultimate pentacle, uh, that you desire. So 
Don't be afraid to ask for help, to reach out for help, to work with others. It's okay if you have multiple streams of income or it's okay if you are looking at other ways or techniques because the challenge is going to help you grow and it's going to help you learn, but it's doable. That is what we see here. It is obtainable. And some things that are worth it, they don't come easy, okay? Love that's worth it is not just roses and rainbow. It takes work. It takes determination. It takes dedication, right? Jobs that are really good paying jobs, it takes work. You got to brush up the resume. You got to be competitive. You got to be ahead of the game, okay? Businesses that exceed and that do better than others, they got to put in work. They got to hire like the best employees. They got to stay on top of the trends. They got to set themselves apart from the the rest so you can get the the best but it requires you to put in some effort so let's see here one more for you sagittarius one more energy reading we have high priestess wheel of fortune three of pentacles knight of pentacles Mm. I see that your spirit or your intuition is going to put you in a path where you're going to connect with someone or other people that will be in your life long term or that will help you accomplish a goal or a task that will be grounded and like... Um, stable for the future let's get some clarifiers here though the high priestess some of you too you know that where you're at it could be better if you reached out for help or assistance hmm let's get some clarifiers now the help it could be a resource okay like adding more resources to your to your path but it could be like asking a friend um working with a particular team maybe collaborating in the right department but let's see let's see sagittarius what is this all about hmm Okay, the high priest is in the eight of wands. Okay, some of you, you're, you're feeling it. Like, you know. You know you need to go in a new direction. You know that there needs to be some type of change taking place. Now, it's interesting because the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician is showing that you are manifesting something very powerful. You have the capabilities to manifest what you desire. We're going to see a turnaround in your, uh, in your path taking place, okay? Uh, some of you, again, we see this shift in perspective. You're realizing that maybe what you are trying to do, you need to reach out. Um, maybe there's someone valuable that's around you and you are recognizing the value that they possess. Um, or some of you are realizing that what you're trying to do, you can't do it on your own. You... And I say that here too because the Knight of Pentacles, okay, with the Five of Swords, it's like stop being stubborn for some of you, not all, but for some of you, it's like Sagittarius. Stop being stubborn and just like ask people for help or um, accept the help that's coming or accept some type of advice that could help you long term. Uh, an example that Spirit is giving is like maybe some of you know that you are trying to, you know, maybe you're trying to, um, change your life for the better okay your financial situation your home life you have big goals that you want to bring together and while you have the capabilities to do it there's a resource that you need just it's like that one ingredient that you need that will put something together now it could be again advice someone that's been there done that that could help you it could be a mentor um really the hangman with the three of pentacles is saying be open to receive some type of help or guidance some of you it could be just like financial aid in some way okay um just 
financial aid coming in through people or friends or family that want to help. It could also be that you are meant to actually work. <laughs> okay. It's like you need to, um, put in the work or you need to work together with your partner, with your family. You need to work well with your team to get the overall result. Okay. It's like, okay, maybe you guys don't get along all the time, but you have to get along during this time to make something work. Some of you may be like co-parenting too. It's like, okay, you want to raise your kids. Well, you want to kind of keep that peace, that balance, but you have to come together. You have to like work out when you're going to have the kids, when are they going to have the kids? Okay. Um, who's going to work around whose work schedule. So it's kind of like that energy. It's like, you, you know, that something needs to change for your highest good. Um, some of you may be trying to actually like make certain moves for your financial gain. Like you're trying to move for your job. You're trying to find out ways to make more money. So look and see how that can be accomplished by asking questions. Okay. Observing other people but also not being afraid to ask them like how they got there or studying their ways or studying their strategies or their techniques. Interesting. This is very interesting. Now, again, this is just general messages. They may not apply all of them to you Sagittarius, but some of you here, the cards are showing that it's like maybe your pride is getting in the way. It's like, you, you know, you, um, what you're trying to do or what you're trying to connect with, it has the potential to go far and to succeed well, but you may be the person blocking your own, um, like success in some way, or there could also be someone in your path that is slowing you down. Okay. Cause the Knight of Pentacles also represents like slow and steady, but still winning the race. So someone here could be slowing down your manifestations, like slowing down the growth of what you're trying to build. Hmm. But be open to maybe discuss and communicate. Okay. Don't maybe don't turn them away completely because again, I feel like this person has some type of value that they, they can add. Okay. It's like before <laughs> you fire that person, maybe there's something going on in their life before you disregard them as a friend or before you disregard them as a potential partner. It's like they, they have the potential to be like a long-term committed partner, but just because they have like maybe this one flaw I would say, or just something that you're not understanding, you know, talk about it. Ask them like, Hmm, you know, I noticed this. What's, what's going on with that? Because this could be something that you have been looking for and your intuition is, it keeps pulling you to like this situation and you're like, what's going on here? But you just keep hitting the wall without maybe looking at the people around you that can help you get over that wall. Hmm. So that's interesting. So make sure you stay tuned and subscribe for more Sagittarius. I'll see you in the next reading. Stay well and be blessed.